Unfortunately, Alcatel didn't bring any new Blackberries to CES, but it did bring these, the new Alcatel One Series devices. We've got the Alcatel One X and the Alcatel One C, and I know what you're thinking, the One X has been a thing. We've tested that in the past, and honestly, it wasn't very good. That's mostly because it was optimized for Android Oreo Go Edition, which requires you have one gigabyte of RAM, and the software wasn't exactly as optimized as we liked it to be. So yeah, the experience wasn't so great. That changes pretty dramatically with this year's One X because they've said, you know what, Android Oreo Go Edition, we're not gonna worry about that. This just runs Android 8.1 Oreo, and it actually, I should point out, runs it surprisingly well. It runs on a quad-core MediaTek chipset with two gigabytes of RAM, and I know what you're thinking, that's sort of on the low end of things, but it's actually really quite good. Maybe the one thing that stands out the most, at least from my viewpoint, is the 5.5 inch full view LCD. This runs at an 18 by nine aspect ratio and it is remarkably expansive for a device that will cost about 120 euro or thereabouts when it launches later this year. TCL has long been trying to squeeze its TV display expertise into its smartphones. I gotta say it worked out pretty well, at least here. This screen runs at HD+, which basically works out to something like 1440 by 720. And for an LCD panel on a cheap device, I'm actually really kind of pleased. Viewing angles are really good. The colors are really nicely saturated. We haven't put this thing through its paces in a big way, but yeah, I could use this. I do also want to point out that this has a dual camera. We've got a 13 megapixel primary camera plus a two megapixel camera for depth information. We've used it to take a couple portrait mode photos and they're honestly a little better than you might expect. I certainly wasn't expecting something from a device like this, but just goes to show that CES is in fact full of surprises. Some versions of the One X also have a fingerprint sensor baked into the back and we're not sure how much that is going to affect the price, but realistically, this is a pretty comprehensive suite of features for a device that's meant to be this inexpensive. The low end of Android devices is getting remarkably good, and I'm really looking forward to the point where you pick one of these things up and don't have to worry about what it's capable of. It just sort of works. That can't be said of this. This is the new Alcatel 1C. This is the Go Edition device that Alcatel is bringing into 2019, and it's, well, I mean, it's a Go Edition device. There's a five megapixel camera on the back that they say can take photos up to eight megapixels thanks to interpolation, but just don't. Just don't worry about that. It's not necessary, nor would I ever recommend that. We do, however, have a not too bad 18 by nine full view display here as well. It runs at a lower resolution, but again, this is an Android Go device. You kind of have to expect that. One gigabyte of RAM here working with a Spreadstrom chipset because those guys exist. And it's, it's an Android Go phone. It works, it's actually a little bit better than the experience we got with the Alcatel One X last year, which did run Android Go. They've made some really important software optimizations here with the help of Google. So the experience here is noticeably smoother. Is that going to be enough to make this worth it for you? Probably not. I should also point out that this thing does not have LTE. It's a purely 3G device, which only really makes sense when you think about the fact that this is not going to be sold in the US. It's meant purely for developing markets like Eastern Europe and Africa and Latin America. So in those cases where you do have a device that brings a decent amount of power to the table, sure, I could see that working out pretty well, but anywhere else, probably not gonna be a great value proposition. There's a lot more going on here at CES, so stay tuned for more. I'm gonna go look at some more of this stuff.